Hi guys. So yes, I'm sitting on a stool next to my stove. You can see my doggy treats in the back. Anyways, back to this. This is Married to Medicine Reunion Part 1. So it starts out with a bang. The ladies are in their respective trailers. All of a sudden, there's all this chaos in Simone Heavenly and Dr. Jackie's trailer because Contessa is coming for Heavenly. And Heavenly's crazy ass is like scared to death. But then when Contessa gets pulled away and she's behind Simone, she's bucket. I was like, girl, go sit down. And then she tells Andy, I'm traumatized. Bitch, be traumatized. You did a whole bunch of talking. Now you don't want to back it up? Okay, girl. Anyways, everybody comes to the reunion. They look a hot mess. Toya, to me, was like my best look. I know a lot of people didn't get it, but it gave me like a 70s type of glam, you know, Studio 54 type of look. Heavenly's face looked dry, quiet look. I don't know. Basically, Toya was my best looking. Anila looked like they did way too much with the rhinestones in the head, makeup, everything. Everyone looked basic as hell, but I could see Toya's vision. Her boobs were sitting pretty, everything. So we get right into it. They come for Heavenly and how she comes for the ladies. I'm going in different order. But they were like, well, if this affects your business, would you change your ways? And she immediately says yes, which tells you she doesn't give a crap about any of these women. None of them. Because she hasn't tried to change her ways with all the complaints they've been making. Then we get to um, Quad and how she could afford this $2 million house, $2 million refurbish and everything it doesn't make sense initially i was like well maybe they make all this money in marriage medicine but simone made it know that i make the same money on here plus i'm a doctor that actually like works in real life she's like it doesn't add up quad had no rebuttal if you notice none whatsoever and i was like oh this simone strike a nerve because she was coming for toya right yes toya sold a couple houses but I like the way Toya came. Toya was not emotional. Toya came with facts. Toya was controlled. During this reunion, she brought out a few jobs she has on the side other than married to medicine, which makes sense. And we could see that, okay, she's earning some kind of income. Quad could not say where her money was coming from. It was giving me Dubai or African sugar daddy. Honestly, that's what it was given. Because a lot of these American women get the african or dubai connections and you know those men have a lot of money and they are ready to spend it for you to do some funny things though as an african i know but quad could not tell us where she got it from but bottom line is she denied sleeping with the contractor apparently the contractor is a married guy she knows his wife is a mess she brings a lie detector test which is like bullshit. girl you prepped yourself you paid the guy you weren't going to bring a test that shows the negative, the, the opposite of what you're trying to prove, right? If it did show that, you wouldn't bring that in. And none of these tests were done under, like, impartial, like, judges and things like that. So, Tony's like, girl, that's not in, um, admissible in court, which is not. Then, we go to Anila and the robbery. Apparently, she's been robbed twice in her house. I'm like, girl, what is up with your security system? Because honestly, basic security, like once one thing is broken or there's a breach, the police is at your house in three minutes if it wasn't you. So why, your, why is your house getting, it's giving insurance fraud. Like I don't get it twice. That's hard, especially in a gated neighborhood of that level. That is very, very unusual. The thing she's extremely unusual. I'm not saying it's impossible but it's extremely unusual and nobody was apprehended okay girl then quad is saying oh carrie told me toya had knowledge about this before it was just a mess and i love the way contessa stood up for for toya and eugene she's like you guys are accusing people of felonies like it's a joke like this is crazy so she's there clowning them talking about i was there at this stones your jewelry she's messing with them and they're on mute but Heavenly is talking about she doesn't think Toya did it. But then she was hailing Anila for her fake, another stupid <laughs> lie detector test. Like, you're not going to bring a lie detector test that goes against you. So this is stupid. The fact that Andy even entertained it is stupid to me and is ridiculous. They should be ashamed of themselves. Accusing Toya and Eugene of something so heinous and hideous. Like, what? 
but I don't even know why Jackie was in the front because I don't even think she spoke this reunion. I don't think she spoke this reunion at all. Then we find out stupid ass Anila has been vacationing with Toya and Simone asked a real question or Contessa asked a real question like, why are you vacationing with her if you think she set you up to be robbed? She couldn't answer it. The episode ends on a cliffhanger because Andy asked her, so do you think Toya did it? She's like, I'm not saying that, but she is saying it with her body language and everything. So I'll see what her real explanation is next week, but I don't think she says yes or no because it ends with Andy saying my question is a yes or no answer. They are full of shit, like Heavenly Quad and Neela, they gotta go. Like, this is, to accuse someone of a felony, that is heavy. And Quad, oh my god, like, I cannot stand her. She's just nasty from the core. Nasty. And when Simone questioned her, she couldn't say anything because there was no rebuttal. The money is not making sense. When Toya said, well, you said you had something with BCBG, no evidence of that. Toya showed us receipts. She's getting paid on the side. We saw two. I don't know how many she had. But those two total is 14000 a month. Which is pretty significant on top of a married to medicine check. On top of Eugene's salary. So when you come for Toya, come with receipts. Like yes, Toya has made bad financial decisions. We all do. She's going to learn someday. But we all do. But this was very triggering, like, to accuse those people of that nonsense. And I love me some Contessa. She came with the heat. I love Toya because Toya was no emotional. Toya already has this reality show stuff together. I loved Simone. Simone didn't back down from her comment. But Heavenly was flip floppy because she's like, I don't think Toya did it. But then she's all screaming when Quad and Anila are, like, bringing their fake light detector test. She's like, do you guys have one? No, they don't have one because it's stupid. I wouldn't bring a light detector test anyway because there's nowhere to corroborate it. It's stupid. Anyway, y'all tell me what you thought. This shit was annoying as hell. And Heavenly needs her ass smacked. Also quad. Bye, guys.